Good morning guys, it is day two, being in India, we're in Agra, it is 5.30 in the morning and we're about to go to the Taj Mahal, let's get a little coffee. How are you feeling Cam? Pretty good for 5 a.m. Yeah? Yeah, ready to go. Yeah, ready? Everyone's just uh, slowly waking up, how are you guys feeling? Do you, want to introduce your, do you want to introduce yourselves? I'm Kara. Yeah? <laughs> you guys have a travel channel too, don't you? Been traveling for the past three years. Yeah. Trying to go to 100 countries, should finish by the end of the year. Mmm. Oh, sick. I think you're probably, you're probably more than me then. I'm on 83, I think. We're on 90, so we have some more to go. Sick. Very early for introduction. Yeah. <laughs> You'll meet them more later on. <laughs> The rest of the group have gone through the main entrance and there's a bit of a line to wait and you know I've done it before so Cara and Nate have Rebels. have taken us on a little bit of a mission to see if we can find a boat to take us behind the Taj Mahal and what were you saying? It's one of those things that no matter how early you get to the Taj you're never going to have it to yourself but supposedly there's like some locals that hang out behind it but it's technically illegal for them to take you out on the boat but I think early in the morning so police kind of look the other way and let them do it at least that's what we're hoping okay oh yeah bro that is sick this is not looking good is it maybe they've really clamped down these guys are stopping anyone renting boats I guess which kind of sucks Unfortunately, we've failed, our mission's failed, but we're going to still um, go into the main kind of tourist entrance. Hopefully we're not waiting for like an hour to get in. I enjoyed that little mission, that's fun. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Sorry we led you a No, no, I was saying like I'd much rather have done that than find out you went on a boat and then being like so <laughs> jealous. That kind of worked perfectly because there was no line to get in, so we went checked out the river, got a different angle and then, yeah. I'm in the main main section now. I think there's going to be tons of tourists here, but it's still uh, such an insane place. This is, I'm just like super excited to be here. And the light is amazing, like the sun's just literally popped up. The next mission for today is to try and find some unique angles of the Taj Mahal. Obviously there's that classic symmetrical shot from the, the center of the, the arch all the way down this center section. But yeah, we wanna try some, some different ones. We're gonna try and get over to the river from that side where the fence is and a shot behind. It might look kind of cool with the sun glowing behind it. Yeah. Right, I think I've spotted the location. Just up along this little path. Oh yeah, here we go. This is it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I've looked up on Wikipedia just to tell you guys a little bit about the Taj Mahal. It was built between 1632 and 1653 for a dude called Mumtaz Mahal. It was a mausoleum for him. It's 73 meters high and 20,000 artisans worked on it under the guidance of a group of architects. And if it was built in modern day, it would cost almost a billion dollars to build. Guys, it's made of um, white marble and it just looks so, so clean. Look at it. How is this so many hundreds of years old, but it just looks so, so pristine. Right, our time at the Taj Mahal is drawing to a close. We were just saying, despite there being like thousands of people here 
it feels like amazingly peaceful. There's definitely something about the atmosphere here. I just, it just makes me happy. Hey. Thank you. Right, heading back in. Guys, if you didn't see yesterday's vlog, this is uh, where we stayed last night. We're gonna try and shoot a little intro for our vlog about the phone. We've got a cool concept. Right, we're just running around getting a few last shots. We're shooting some fun stuff on the phone. I just want to show you how cool this hotel is. So obviously the Taj Mahal is kind of over that way. You can see it from the room. Look at this pool. I'm kind of sad we didn't get to go in it. Oh my gosh, wait. It actually goes like inside. Oh, whoa. back in New Delhi, in a new hotel. Um, we've just changed into these amazing outfits because today is the day that we are gonna celebrate Holi. We're gonna have a big festival. Cam had a good idea to get our scarves and use them as headbands. I think this looks cool, doesn't it? What do you think? Feeling great, feeling ready. Yeah, let's get I'm ready, I'm ready. Tonight is just going to be a very small taster of what the Holy Festival is about. I don't think it's going to be a, a, a true um, Holy party because I think normally there's thousands and you're in the street and it's going crazy. But um, yeah, this is, this is just a small party tonight. I, I, it could still get kind of crazy though. This is the powdered paint that we're going to be throwing at each other. Are you ready? I guess so. What happens now? The people just start throwing paint at each other. What happens? I don't really know what to expect. night I um, I've just about managed to wash out all the paint from my hair kind of and uh, yeah I'm probably gonna be coughing up colored dust for the next couple of days but it was worth it and we're gonna try and hunt down a um, a street kind of festival like I said this is kind of um, what we did tonight was kind of almost just like a flavor like a taste of what holy is but uh, it, there's going to be processions and crazy parties all week so um, we're going to do some sightseeing tomorrow see some of the sites of New Delhi and 
uh, and then kind of end this particular trip I'm on and then me and Cameron are staying on for another three or four days so we're going to try and find some fun crazy things to do and uh, yeah sweet I will uh, catch you in the morning guys <laughs> peace out enjoy life and live the adventure boom <laughs>